3.1D, One-Step Equations, the Multiplication Principle. Once again, we can do anything to both sides of the equation. Remember, you must do it to both sides, otherwise the equation will not be balanced. The Multiplication Principle tells us that in order to clear a division, we must do the opposite and multiply. by both sides. Once again, it is very important to show all your work. As you can see in example one, we have x divided by seven equaling negative four. We would like to get x alone so that we can determine its value. Since it is currently being divided, we must do the opposite and multiply to get rid of the number. In the case in example one, this means we must multiply both sides by a seven. When we multiply both sides by a seven, on the first side we now have seven x over seven equals a negative twenty-eight. Since seven divided by seven is one, we actually have one x, or just x, equals negative twenty-eight. You can skip the second step as long as you understand that the seven is being divided by the seven to give you a one. Once again, you can check your work to ensure that you have found the correct answer. You do this by putting parentheses wherever there was a variable in the original. You then place the number you found in the parentheses. You now have negative twenty-eight divided by four, or seven, which gives you negative four. Negative four equals negative four, and therefore you have found the correct answer in x equals negative twenty-eight. In example two, we have five equals x divided by negative two. Once again, to undo a division, we do the opposite and we multiply. This means we must multiply both sides by a negative two. Remember, you must always multiply by the same number that is there. This gives you x equals negative ten. Remember, this is because negative two divided by negative two is a one. And one x is the same as writing x. Once I get the answer, you can always check your answer by plugging it back in. When checking the answer, you write the original problem, only putting parentheses where the variable was. This means you place a negative ten on the top. You now have five equals negative five, five equals positive five. Since this is correct, we know that we have found the correct solution.